State Television Campaign of Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Chronology of the genocide against Armenians. We exist. Social organization applied to international structures. Heroic battle of one. Talim from Constantinople was elected chairperson. The Hamshan language preserved in the village of Western Armenia. An accident has happened. There are four dead and injured. Ahvanian monuments in Artsakh have no connection with Ahvan and Caucasian indigenous communities. The Balkan Wars and the Armenians, the rule of the young Turks, brought almost no significant changes in the situation of the natives, including the Western Armenians. Conversely, the situation became worse. In 1912-1914, the defeat of Ottoman Turkey in the Balkan Wars causes political activity among Armenians. Based on the favorable situation, Armenians decide to draw the attention of the great power states to carry out improvements in the Armenian vilayets. In 1912, on October 2, Catholicos gave work five official addresses to Lawrence of Dashkov and asked to raise an issue to implement the Article 61 of Berlin. A month later, the Catholicos also raised the prominent Egyptian Armenian political and public figure Bogos Nubar Pasha to present the issue of Armenians' reforms to the great power states. For their part, the Armenians of Western Armenia were making their own initiation for the implementation of improvements. It planned to unite the six vilayets into one territory, which was to be headed by a high commissioner or a governor general. You can learn more about the subject on the website of Western Armenian TV. The We Exist initiative of Artsakh residents appealed to the International Red Cross organization and the number of other international structures. Our demand from the UN, the OSK, the AU, the Council of Europe and other organizations is to stand up for their declared values and protect the rights of the native people of Artsakh. It is noted that the withdrawal of the International Committee of the Red Cross from Artsakh is another link in the chain of violation of the rights of the indigenous people of Artsakh by international organizations. Baku continues to constantly destroy Armenian heritage to prevent Armenians from returning to their homeland. With their criminal silence, our international structures become participants in the process of depriving us from our homeland, was said in the message. In the spring of 1915, the Armenians of France struggled for their identity and the right to live in their own homes. Western Armenian TV presents the timeline of April 12, 14. Starting from April 12, battles are fought in all parts of Agestan for several days. The enemy attacks continuously. The Turkish command deploys the cavalry, but in no result, the Armenian self-defenders don't retreat. On April 12, the Turkish fortress in front of the Sahak Bay position caught fire and Turks were killed in various positions. On this day, a large number of refugees moved to Agestan. April on, uh, 14, the situation was relatively calm. The bulletin published by the body says that some of the enemy fighters were killed. The Turks failed to implement the plan, leaving behind their weapons, and they left. Talin Ergunec, Gazer, an Armenian from Constantinople, was elected as a member of the Council of Elders of the Administrative District of Shishli, will serve in three committees of the Council of Elders. It is noted that after the first session of the Council of Elders, Gazer was elected the chairperson of the External Relations Committee of Shishli Administrative District and also became a member of the Education Committee and the Culture, Art and Terrorism Committee. The Western Hamshan Eastern Hamshan distinction, which is often found in studies on Hamshan people and the Hamshan languages, based on the whether the language is spoken or not. At the same time, this uh, distinction provides a basis for the question of the relation of the Hamshan people included in the Western group to the Armenian language to become a debatable issue. Travelers' notes are one of the most important sources for the traces of the Armenian language in those regions. Another source that enables us to follow those traces is the place names and the family names of those regions. Many Armenian names have been preserved among the names of hills, mountains, and peaks in those areas among them. Such a symbolic place name as Maturna can be mentioned. Another source are the text record books preserved in the Ottoman archives in which there are lists of taxpayers living in the villages. In the villages of the region, in the 16,000 years, the names of uh, taxpayers are Armenians, and in the following years, Muslim names are gradually increasing. In some inscriptions, it is possible to meet people who bear Muslim names but Armenian patronymics. It should be noted that soon new studies on these subjects will be published. 
On April 12, the Ural car carrying the servicemen of the military unit of the Ministry of Defense of Eastern Army left the roadway under unknown circumstances and ended up in the nearby ravine. According to the Ministry of Defense, as a result of the accident, according to the preliminary data, there are four victims and injured. The data is currently being investigated. The Ministry of Defense will issue an additional statement regarding the incident. Old Aldam, produced by Baku CBS TV channel, destroyed nomadic heritage video contains a number of statements about the ancient culture of Artsakh, which distort and falsify the real picture of archaeologic of heritage research. Monument Watch reports, particularly talking about the nomadic and semi-nomadic type of economic life in Artsakh in the late Bronze and Iron Ages excerpts from the publications of individual archaeologists taken out of context are brought in trying to connect this type of economy with the Turkic tribes in the region. The Azerbaijan, of course, this is a very unscientific claim. First, to talk about modern people living in the Caucasus. The identification of ethnic groups in the same zones of the third and first millennium is absurd. It is not possible to refer to a signal scientific publication where such parallels are drawn, probably for this and other researchers who consider this monument to be Ahvan. The parts of the history from Avan by Movsesa Dashkurant, which described the Khazarian raids and the appearance of the Khazarian warriors, according to which these tribes were broad faced, fruitless with the female form, served as a basis. And unlike the Azerbaijanis who moved a large part of the past found during the Soviet years from their original location, which is why the location of some of them is now unknown, the Armenian archaeologists did not move any of them. We advise Azerbaijan researchers not to spread their semi-literacy so much and to follow more the archaeological researches that document the phenomenon and not politicized statements in the area. Report the academic platform. This was all for today. Goodbye. <laughs> Sashara, Hemen,